Okay, so in this screencast, we're going to add shared folders in SIBO serving the Django development server files from the shared folder so that you can use Windows to edit the files and Django to serve the pages. Okay, so here we go. Step one is that if we're going to, if we want to have access to those shared folders from the host, from the guest, from the guest, that is the Ubuntu Linux operating system, we need to add ourselves as a user to VBox SS group. So let's do that. Sudo add user should be VBox SS so virtual box shared folders. Okay. And uh, let's see if that actually worked. Um, going to have to actually log in and out or just reboot the machine. Uh, but we'll have to reboot the machine anyways in order to add the shared folder. So let's uh, just do one reboot. So uh, add the shared folder first. So shared folders, uh, we're going to add a machine folder because we want it permanent. And we're going to click plus and we're going to select the path to a directory that I've already created on the host, that is the Windows 7 operating system. Shared with Ubuntu. So auto mount and make permanent. Okay. And click OK. So let's reboot everything. Let's let's actually shut it down. Sudo shut down. Now we'll shut down and then we'll restart. I'll close the virtual machine and open it up. And then hopefully we'll be able to see that shared folder from our um, from our guest operating system. Okay, let's close that, power off the machine, and restart it. So let's open up the terminal and maximize it. Uh, let's see if we are indeed a member of that group. Yes, I am. You can see here that I'm a member of VBox SF. And let's take a look to see whether that shared folder actually mounted. So it'll be in, in here in the media directory. And it's going to be prefixed with SF. Now you can change some settings so that you don't get this prefix or the prefix is different. But I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, let's move on. Let's cd into the shared folder. Okay, and let's add, uh, let's create a new repository root directory here. So maker nr repo And let's clone our social assistance registry project here also. Okay, so, uh, so github.com social assistance registry. And I'm just going to copy that link that I will need. Copy and paste. And we'll put it in nr Seems to have gone well, so let's uh, let's cd into that nr repo two, and it's all there. Now we've already installed the packages and the requirements. We can just use the same virtual environment, but we're going to have to add the path to the environment. So let's cd into the project root. We're in the repository root. Let's see into the project root directory, and the full path to that is here. And we're just going to add this to our virtual environment. So let's. Uh, Work on an RP, uh, VN, the add to virtual ends. Let's add this path. Okay. And now, let's 
let's see if we can actually run the Django development server. So, uh, okay, so Django dash admin py run server 0 .0 0 0 0 0.0.0.0 colon. Let's make this 8001. So let's see if we can run it up here. So 127.001. It's not going to be 8,000. It's going to be 8,001 this time. It's working. Let's see if we can access it in Internet Explorer. Let's just take a look at our shared folder. So shared with Ubuntu uh, repo and by group. And so, yeah, here's all here are all the files. And so if you want to edit your files on a Windows operating system and then use the um, Django development server on Ubuntu, this is one way to do it. I hope it's reliable. Okay, so that's the end of the screencast and end of setting up the Django, getting the Django development server up and running on the Ubuntu Linux inside a virtual machine running on Windows 7 uh, host system. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. hope everything works for you. If there are problems, just leave questions in the uh, comments section and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get to them.